modern supercars have become downright civil. Technological advances mean cars that can hit 60 miles per hour in under 3 seconds can also coddle occupants on long haul drives. On top of that, they're relatively reliable. This supercar evolution is mostly welcome, as evidenced by record sales from companies like Lamborghini and McLaren. Cutting edge hardware like dual clutch gearboxes and adaptive suspensions have made these vehicles both faster and easier to drive, in turn making them more approachable. Still, there's something to be said for the unfiltered, visceral experience that vintage sports cars can provide. That thoroughly mechanical connection between man and machine has, for better or worse, become increasingly diluted as of late. Call it the cost of progress. For those who lament that they don't make them like they used to, the folks at Superformance are here to help. The latest entry into their roster of supercar recreations is this, the GT40 Nikkei 50th Anniversary Edition, 20 of which will be built to commemorate Ford's 1966 victory at Le Mans with Carroll Shelby. Its design follows the original so closely that more than two-thirds of its components are interchangeable with the original Nikkei GT40s. And when outfitted with Shelby's specially prepared aluminum block 427 Fe V8, it's considered authentic enough to earn a spot in the Shelby vehicle registry. For this story, we drove a mechanically identical GT40 Nikkei done up with Carroll Shelby 85th plaque sits just like the car pictured here, except the steering wheel is on the left and the shifter is in the middle. Simply planting yourself into the driver's seat of one of these continuation GT40s is enough to evoke a sense of occasion, a process that for most drivers involves either settling in feet first from a standing position on the bucket itself, or removing the quick-release steering wheel for additional maneuvering room and reconnecting it once situated. After an assessment of the various switches on the instrument panel to make sure all settings are copacetic, a press of the ignition button brings to life a 550 horsepower small block 427 that's situated just a few inches behind the vehicle, but because of the sheer violence it's capable of. Operation in the future system is still there.